Here's how to add a new custom sound into Minecraft Bedrock. Hi, George here, and I'll be showing you how to add a new sound to Minecraft and then set that up so you can play that new sound using play sound through a command block. Okay, switch over to the desktop and let's get to work on this. Here we are on my desktop and we're going to be setting up a new custom resource pack. Now to start off with, we need a few things. I'm just going to delete this stuff here, get rid of that, we'll get rid of this, and I'll get rid of that. Now if you want to, you can use your own pack icon. I have one that I made here. This is just a square image file, 128 by 128. You can go 256 by 256. If you want more detail, that's fine. And it's just named pack underscore icon, and it's a PNG file, .png. That's all that is, just a nice square icon. If you want to use the standard grass block one, I'll show you where that is in just a minute. And before we grab all the stuff we need in here, just take a second and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I do new videos all the time. And hit that like button as well so more people can see my video. Okay, first thing we have to do is to set up a location to build your resource pack. I made a new folder on my C drive and I named it Bedrock Packs. Call it anything you want, doesn't matter. I just called mine Bedrock Packs and we'll build our pack right here. The next thing we need is the vanilla resource pack. So I'll bring up a web page and show you where you can download the official vanilla resource pack. In this right here, I'll put this link in the description so you can get right to this. Now you don't want any of these preview things. So scroll down until you get down here. We see the one that says latest. That's the one that you want right there. And then just click on the zip file right here to download this. And then download this into your working folder. Choose save. And there it is. Okay, let's now open this thing up. I'm going to right click and open in a new window. Just float that on top. This makes it real easy. Double click in here, ignore all this stuff and double click into resource pack. This is your vanilla resource pack right there. In here we need just a few things. First off, right there, this is the grass block pack icon if you wanna use that one, that's right there. Okay, we need this manifest file. Let's drag that over. There we go, we have that one. We also up here go into the sounds folder and scroll down we need the sound definitions file right here. We actually only just need the name of this, but the easy trick here is just to drag it over here and we'll change that. Okay, now notice that we're in the sounds folder. We need a sounds folder over here and one additional folder. Let's do that one. I'll close this down. We're done with that. If you want to, you can delete this right now or just hang on to it for use in the future. That's okay. So we need to go up here to new, come down to folder, and this is going to be sounds. Notice how there's no uppercase letters. It's just all lowercase. Click into this and then make a new folder in here to put your custom sounds into. I'll just make one named custom. New folder, custom. There we go. And our new sounds go right inside here. Okay, now come back here, take the sound definitions file and drag it into sounds. And that's right where it should be. All right, so far so good. We now need to get our new custom sound and you can get that anywhere you want to. I found one over on Pixabay. Let me show you how I found that. Let's get a web browser and go to Pixabay. And here we go, we're on Pixabay. Down here, go up to the search bar, over to the right-hand side where it says All Images, click on that and come down to Sound Effects. You can actually get free videos, music, and sound effects here on Pixabay. So Sound Effects, and let's do a search for Gong and bring that up, here we go. Now you can hear what the sounds like by clicking on this button right there. There we go, just kind of a nice Gong sound to that. And again, they have loads and loads of different sounds in here. Find one you like, and we'll use that one. I'll just use this first one here because it's right there on top. That's easy. We're going to cut this thing down so it's much shorter than that. I just want a real short sound, but we'll fix that. Choose Download, and save this into the same working folder, and save. There we go. Close that down, and here's our new sound. Now, I'll make this just a little bit easier in here. I don't want to have all this extra garbage on that. Let's just make it say Gong. There we go, and backspace over all this stuff. So it's now gong.mp3. Now this has to be an OGG file or OGG file format. So I'm going to open this up in my favorite editor for this, and that's Audacity. If you don't want to use a downloaded editor, let me show you real fast so you can get a good one online. And this right here, convertio.co. This works out just fine as well, good file converter. I prefer using Audacity, let's bring that up. Okay, here's Audacity. Now the easy way to get a file in here is just to drag and drop. So I'll bring up my working folder right here and just take it and drag it in. There we go. Now it's way too long. I don't want to have that. So let's trim this thing down. Click over here, that selects it. And I'll start off right here at the beginning. Let's just select that, hit the delete key. 
and then I'll come down here. Now this is 15 seconds long about to here. Here's 10 seconds long. So I'll come down here. I'll just select all of that, hit the delete key and trim that down. Now zoom in just a little bit and let's fade this out. Look over here to select the track, go up here to effect and come down to fade out. And that fades it out. There we go. Let's just see how it sounds. Click in here, hit the play button. And that's perfect. We can now see this out as OGG. We also want this as a mono track, not stereo. You always want your effect sounds as mono. Go up to file, come down to export audio. In here, there's the name. Notice it has the AUG on there. Make sure you're in the right location. That's right, that's my working folder. You want the format to be AUG Vorbis files and you want it in mono and that looks good. Choose export and it's done. We now have our mono file and you can close this down. I'm not gonna bother saving that. There's the AUG file right there. Okay, let's so now get this into the right folder. Just drag and drop that over here. Go into sounds. There it is, drag that into custom. Double check, there it is. Let's just change our view here to large icons. That's all set to go. Now this traffic cone thing here, that's just because I use the VLC media player. If you're using a different media player, you'll have a different icon on here. So don't worry about the icon, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, that's taken care of. We have our sounds, we have our pack icon. We now need to update our manifest.json file. Let's open this up. I always edit these inside of Notepad++. It's free and it's really easy to use. Let's just give this a new name right here. I'll just call it Gong. You give it a name right down here if you want to. I'll call that Gong Sound. And you can copy your description. Right click copy and bring it right down here and paste. So those three spots need to be renamed. Now we also have these two UUID codes in here. We need new UUID codes. For that, I have a website. Let me bring that one up. This right here, the online UUID generator. Click refresh page, get a brand new code, choose copy. Let's go back over to Notepad++ right here and let's select the top one. Make sure you stay inside those quotation marks. Right click and paste. Do the same thing again, back over here. Click refresh, click copy, back to Notepad++. Select the bottom one. Same thing, make sure you keep those quotations in there. Right click and paste and then save that. That's done. Okay, now we have to go in and make a new sound definitions file. Now this has to say something very, very specific. Let me bring that up. And they have that right here in a text file. And you can get that right here on my channel's website. I'll put a link for this into the description. Just go here to Minecraft Bedrock Downloads. And right down here it says sound. You want that one. Sound definitions zip. That contains that text file. So here's the text. And I want to edit this instead of Notepad++. I'll bring that back up again. And I'll grab that text. You want all the text clear to the bottom right down there. That whole thing, right click and copy. And I'll just right click and paste it into here and get rid of this. This way it's formatted correctly. And a few things in here, don't change this top. That's correct for right now. There's the sound definitions, that's correct. Down here where it says custom.gong, this is anything you wanna call it. I'm just calling it the name of the file right here and the folder right there. But anything you want is fine. I can say new underscore sound.gong, whatever you like. This is just easy to do. We'll be using this later on in the game. So make sure you memorize that. Category is gonna be neutral. And where it says sounds right here, this is the path to your sound. It's in sounds, custom, and gong. So that's your path. That's all set. We need to save this out. Go up here to file and save as, and then go inside of sounds and put it right on top of your sound definitions file right there. Choose save and replace. And that's all set to go. Okay. And that's everything we need to do with our resource pack. Let's now compile this. Grab your sounds file, hold the control key down, grab the manifest and your pack icon, right click, and I'm going to compress here to a zip file. I'll just call it gong, and then change the zip so it says MC pack. There we go, and choose yes, and you should see the icon change as well. So I'm calling it gong, and it's a dot MC pack. If you're not seeing the icon up here, just hit the F5 key, that should refresh your window. It may move over and you'll then see the icon or go into a folder and come back out again. And again, you should see that, that just refreshes the window. We're now going to launch this and launch Minecraft. So make sure Minecraft is closed when you do this. Double click on this, I'm gonna launch Minecraft and then import that. There we go, import started. It's importing that new resource pack and successfully imported, that's good. Come down to settings. In here, scroll down, global resources right there. Go into my packs, 
Here's the description. There's the name that we did. Click on that. Choose activate. It should say activated. It does. I'm just going to double check. Click on active right there. That's good. Okay, it's back out of here. Let's go ahead and play the game. There's my main world. And we're going to be setting up a command block and then programming the command block to play the sound. Okay, the first thing we need is a command block. And to get this, you have to have cheats enabled. Let's just hit the forward slash button. Type in give and a space. And I'm going to do it at S. So it gives it to me and a space. And then Minecraft colon command underscore block. Hit the enter key. And there's our command block. Okay, we got that. Let's go ahead and we'll place that down. And I'll put the command block right there. Just right click. There we go. Now we need to have a button on top of the command block. So hit the E key. And go over here, hit the magnifying glass. Let's begin typing in BU works. Come down here. I'll grab the work button. That works fine. Now to place a button on top of the command block, you have to be in crouch. So hold the shift key down and then right click on the top. Here's a button. You can be on the top, on the sides. You, know, you can connect it by redstone, whatever you like, but this is just easy for this. So to run your command, you right click on the button. And then to program the command block, you right click on the command block. And that brings up the command block interface right here. Okay, click on the plus sign right there. That brings up the little command in here. And our first command is play sound. Hit a space. And then here's where you put in the name that you gave your new sound. We called ours custom.gong and a space. And then type in who you want to hear the sound. If you do at P, it'll play to the closest person to the command block. That makes sense. If you want everybody to hear it, then you want at A. If you want just yourself to hear it, be at S. But this works. Go over here, hit that down button. The command block is all set up. Let's close that down. And now we should hear the sound when we right click on our button. And there it is. Now, since the command blocks work from being triggered by redstone, you can now set up any kind of redstone thing you want to run that command block to play that sound. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.